What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing and I gotta roll this window up. Today's a Sunday, this video is probably gonna be pretty short but Pistol P has been seeing all those carp that we've been catching so we are actually gonna go out and really target carp. So we're gonna go to a southeast Wisconsin lake, launch a boat, be out there for a little bit and this is just more about watching P fight this thing for about 15 to 25 minutes depending on the size. So again, this video is going to be pretty short, but it should be a good one. So strap in, stay tuned, and I will see you guys at the lake. Have you got anything to say? No. Yeah, as usual. <laughs> He's got nothing. Trying to get pistol pee at cart to feel that fight. Just launched a boat. There's literally a million boats out here. And it's hot. They're all over. Just drag it on the bottom. No, they actually eat these things because there's so many under there. You will snag a few, yeah. but you'll start feeling bites. A lot of them are through the mouth. I was here the other day and there's people under the bridge. They were catching them and then they were shooting them with the bow. See? Those are bites. They're like, they're like scooping it off the bottom like when you feel it though like really set it well sometimes they're just kind of like picking up and dropping it because remember dude they're like they're bottom feeders we'll lose more than we catch for sure are you on yeah you were all right guys so we've hooked up so many times we don't even know if we're snagging these right now if they're eating we do get a few bites but <sighs> we're close p dude like right when i come outside the bridge they start like they eat right here like he's biting right now. That's a big one. Oh my God. These things are starting to piss me off. <laughs> this one's in the mouth. I didn't hook set that one that hard. I tried a new technique. Yeah, this one's in the mouth for sure. Big head shakes. All right guys, first one actually on longer than three seconds. This one's in the mouth. What? Oh no, he's not gonna come up. He's gonna stay down for as long as he can. They're bottom feeders. All right, guys, we're hooked out on the first one of the day. I got this one right in the mouth. Oh man, he's going towards your line. We've had a bunch on, but they just keep popping off because there's so many under there, so we're kind of snagging them a few times. But I feel really big head shakes on this one, so I know it's in the mouth. This is gonna be a solid 10 to 15 minute fight. Doesn't feel too big, unfortunately. I mean, it's probably eight to 12, 12 pounds. This one got a lot bigger as this fight's going. You on. find a Goliath or a carp? Oh, there's my leader. There's my leader. Oh, he's close. Uh, see that boil? Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> probably about nine, nine to 11 pounds. <laughs> She's like, look at this, this thing just does not want to come in. He's gonna get to the boat and then dive right back down. This thing's gonna be in. The He's right here. Yeah, I know. You want me just in at him? No. He went right under the boat. I told you, dude, when he sees in that. What are they just like getting scared? Yeah, when they see the net, they just take off again and again and again. 
This is definitely not one of the biggest ones, but still a decent one. All right, guys, this is the first one of the day. Probably about a eight to 11 pounder, that range. I'm gonna get a quick release because I know there's bigger ones. So I'm not gonna hold this one. All right, guys, Pete's hooked on his first one. This is a good size one, making big, long runs. Taking them all the, all the way into the bridge. This is a good one. How you feeling, bud? Yeah. What are your thoughts right now? <laughs> this is like this is nuts. How can you hate on carp fishing? I mean, here I know they're like nasty fish, but this is oh. <laughs> like, he is not. He's not one happy camper. When they take you under the bridge, you know it's a big one. All right, guys. So I've done this a few like a few times already, so I'm kind of used to this. But for your first one, it's so thrilling. <laughs> When you hooked into this thing, what were you just like, what the f is this? This is a big one. I guess hurt my arm. <laughs> Jesus, dude. This isn't a kingfish. <laughs> I told you, these things fight so hard. They're gross as f but... I feel like I'm gonna start bumping on this thing. You're pretty much trying to have to, like a pull up reel down technique. Just be careful, you don't snap. I think I already did. Oh, there's your leader. There's your leader. You're making headway. Watch, you're gonna see your leader just disappear. Let him run when he wants to run. He ain't done yet. Trust me. So don't freak out for the net just yet. Oh, yeah, he came up a little bit. I just walked into a fucking spider. Oh yeah, dude, that, that's... That's a solid, like, probably 15, 16. All right, guys, P's first one. Do you want to wait on your first one? Yeah, 17, 15. How about it, bud? Nice. <laughs> 17 pounds, 17.15, so it's probably about 17 and a quarter. 17. Yeah, 17. the biggest I've got is 26 out of here. Brand new whip just hopped What's in. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. All right guys, so we landed piece first one. 17.15 pounds. That was cool. Yeah, that was that was cool. <laughs> I mean. I guaranteed you one today, bud. I mean, here, that's that's the biggest freshwater fish I've ever caught. No, your King Sam was probably 20, 25. Oh yeah, that's right. All right guys, so we've caught in like a, like a nine pounder and then a 17 pounder. We're gonna stay out here, try it, cause I really want a 30, my goal is 30. Yeah, I know. So we got a new leader, he's at 17 pounds. My goal today, honestly, is to get a 30 pounder. The last time I was out here, I caught a 26.8 pounder. So I'm gonna try and go for a 30 and try and beat Cade, Fish Slinger's record. That's what Justin told me to beat, 30 on the dot. So if I can do that, that'd be pretty fun. But this video is gonna be pretty short, like I said. The whole goal is just to come out here and get P to get an insane fight and hopefully I can break the 30 pounder. So throw you back on the chest. All right guys, P's hooked on once again. This is definitely a bigger one. We're gonna try and double up right here. Great opportunity to double up because your, yours is not really doing much. It's just like going up and down. I'm not yeah, no, you're fighting it a lot smarter. Look at that rod bend. It looks like a silu silhouette in the sun. <laughs> Dude, if we could double up, that'd be so nice. There's your leader. Just don't underestimate the car. You just never know. How are you feeling on this one? I could have got it. Dude, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> smaller than your first one. All right, guys, we're not gonna pull this one out either. This one's smaller than P's first one, so we're gonna wait. 
All right, that is gonna complete the day. We caught a few carp. Again, I talked to some bass anglers before we went out just to kind of check to make sure we didn't waste our time on these carp, but the bass are still really not biting. It's like one, maybe two, in like five, six hours for like most bass anglers. So I really wanted to get pee on one of these carp today, and I did. I think his biggest was 17, 17 and a half, 17 and a quarter. So he definitely got like the full experience out of it. We're not gonna be doing this a lot. This is probably gonna be the last time we're going for these carp. The bass season is literally about to explode. Water's heating up. The water is about 53 on the surface. So by next week, next week, it should be all bass from here on out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Pete, what are your thoughts on the catching that carp? I mean, they're not obviously the prettiest fish in the entire world, but I mean, here a fight like that, there's not much. There's not much better else. I mean, it's not like a little tiny buck bass. I mean, here it was fun. It was a good time, but here comes bass season. We're gonna catch monsters. All right, guys, you heard it. This Spencer, I'm not puking on your boat this time. You heard it first. That is gonna complete the day, though. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's probably a little bit shorter than normal, but again, I just want to get pee on one. So I will see you guys next Tuesday or next Friday. Two videos every single week, Tuesday, Friday, 4 p.m. Be there. Thank you guys so much. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and we are out. <laughs>